The Baltimore Running Festival is celebrating its 15th year. 15 years ago when we started, we had about 6,500 runners. So we've been able to grow it exponentially. Every year, more runners show up. In 2014, nearly 26,000 runners from 23 countries ran in one of the races. This year, around 15,000 runners have registered. Race organizers believe it has to do with the civil unrest in April and point to the fact that fewer out-of-town runners are signing up this year. We have received a number of phone calls and emails, um, people expressing concern. Fewer runners on the streets of Baltimore means less money for the city of Baltimore. This race brings in about $40 million in revenue for the city, but the most unfortunate loss is for the charities. It usually brings in about $1.3 million. Race organizers are trying to change the course. You know, the back is believe, be strong, be more. They're selling t-shirts with the proceeds supporting local charities. And Monday, they launch a social media campaign. Every day leading up to the race, they'll tweet out a picture. We're going to take a very interesting look at the city at 26 unique stops around the city. 26 tweets, one for each mile. They'll include a fun fact about a spot on the course. They hope that this will get local runners moving in the right direction to show their city pride. We need you now more than ever because of what happened in April. And don't choose Richmond, don't choose Philly, don't choose New York, don't choose the Marine Corps Marathon. Although they're great events, choose Baltimore. Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.